crackberry.com. Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for crackberry.com. And check out the Kobo Books app for the Blackberry Playbook. Kobo Books is a ebook reader for the Blackberry Playbook. It comes pre-installed. Unfortunately, there's no Kindle um, from Amazon yet, even though it was one of the first things that they had announced um, when we first heard about the playbook. Um, but there's still no sign of it, no Nook app or anything like that. So if you're looking for an e-reader, Kobo is pretty much the only way to go. It's actually not a bad app. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of stuff on Amazon or anything, so I fired up Kobo and started downloading some stuff, but it's actually a pretty good app. So we're just gonna take a quick look. Um, when you fire it up here, you have your library, uh, your bookshelf. And so you have a couple books already. Um, it actually had The Art of War and Alice in Wonderland already on it. I downloaded a couple other ones, some I paid for, some were free. But this is the basic layout. So you have your library here. See, it's got all your books on it. Um, and then there's the store there. So we'll just check out the front part real quick. So you can see here up in the top, it shows you what you're reading. Um, and the ones here with the green are the bookmark ones. So I have Alice in Wonderland open. Um, so we go ahead and click on that. And it's going to jump you right in the book where you left off. So you can see here I have the, the two-page setup in landscape right now. Um, but if you spin it around, then you can get your portrait, um, which is definitely the easier way to do it. And then you can flip through. So you can either flip through or you can just tap on the bottom and it'll go page to page, which is pretty cool. Um, it comes with the default font layout. Pretty easy to read, but you can tap and then up top you'll get the menu here. Um, there's a little settings icon. So down the bottom you have your font size. You can choose from either the serif or the sans serif font, depending on your liking. And then you can actually tweak the font size. So you can go super small, or if you have bad eyes, you can bring it all the way up. Um, and there's a night mode, it just changes it to black with the white text. I would like a sepia option like on the Kindle app so it gives you that more, uh, the lighter book feel, it's a little easier on the eyes. And you can tweak the brightness here as well. Um, so it goes up and down, which apparently doesn't want to work too well. Um, and then you have your landscape layout, so this will switch, so when you're in landscape mode, um, you can have the single page or you can switch to the double page depending on your liking and then the page transition so you can have it either slide the page like so or you can have it fade the page which I like a lot better it just kinda jumps to the next page so that's pretty cool um, and then the other settings in here it's pretty much just your table of contents. It's got your little overview of your book. Um, and then any pages that you put your dog ears on will show up in there as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for the, the settings option. Then we tap our bookmark button and we'll get back out to the front here. So you can see all your other books. I have um, a couple other ones stored in here. So you can just tap on it. I have the Blackberry here. And it fires it up. And just like that. So you can read a bunch of books at once if that's your thing. Um, it'll save your spot in each one. You can see the most recent one moves over to the side there. And we tap this guy. Um, you can sort your library so you can see the last read author title. So if you want to sort it differently. And then we have a different view option here too. So you can see the, the full titles and everything as opposed to just the images. Um, and then we'll jump into the store. Once you set up an account, um, you have your store here. This is the main page. It's got your new releases, top 50 categories. Um, there's a whole bunch of free books, so you can go into the free category, um, you can check out different categories. The only thing I don't like, um, unless I haven't found it out yet, there's no way to really search by author to have them sort that way. Um, but there's a whole bunch of other categories, so it's got a ton of books. I actually found quite a few more books on here that weren't available on either the Nook or the Kindle. Um, but I mean, there's anything, there's textbooks, fiction, nonfiction, all kinds of stuff. Unfortunately, there's no, um, none of the newsstand publications like the newspapers or, uh, magazines are available yet on the playbook. Um, I would definitely like, you know, something like the USA Today or something to be able to read on the playbook. It would be cool to be, you know, delivered wireless, wirelessly while it's in standby and just kind of show up in the app, but, um, something that's not there yet. So hopefully soon, um, but that's pretty much it. So you set up an account. Um, when you go to buy a book, it'll walk you through the process. You put in your credit card info and all that good stuff. It downloads them. They all save here. You can get to them online. Um, you can remove books from your library, 
couple clicks, you can read them. That's really all there is to it. So overall, really cool app. Um, this is the Kobo book reader, I guess it's called, for the playbook. Um, comes free. If not, you can download it from BlackBerry App World, but definitely the way to go until uh, Kindle or something else pops up. Kobo, BlackBerry playbook. Check it out.